Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Ray Jr. Coming back at you, comic book fanatics. Um, doing this uh, video in, in my bedroom. Uh, the mini man cave is uh, in a little disarray because uh, packing up and getting ready to move in a, a couple of months. And then uh, all the comics that I, the big comic book haul that I got uh, back in January is still disorganized or whatever. So I'm slowly but surely bagging and boarding uh, those uh, 2,500 books that I'm keeping for my personal collection and then um, I'm going on um, auctions and stuff um, and selling them you know either through the NY Warriors or on uh, different uh, Facebook group pages but this video you're about to see is uh, a very rare I'm gonna say rare uh, if you don't think it's rare by all means comment below let me know but I grew up in the 80s. I was born in 73. So 80s is like nostalgic with all the cartoons or whatever. So there was one cartoon that I faithfully watched. It only ran 13 episodes, but I think it didn't get no justice because it was it sets the, it set the stage for He-Man Masters of the Universe in the 80s because if you look at the movements between this character and He-Man, they're the exact same ones. Exact same ones, but I think it's because of filmation was pretty much what's the word cheap and they just use the, the same steels over and over but what you see before you is black star now this is a coloring book it's in french so i can't speak french but i had to buy it uh to have in my collection uh i'm i don't know if i would ever color in it i don't know i might get a, a couple of artists to color in it for me so that way i'm not jacking it up um but it just brought back memories of uh, the Trobbits, which reminded everybody, you know, of the seven dwarfs because it was seven of them. And then there's uh, the Overlord's, uh, one of his lackeys, and then it's Black Star versus Overlord. Like I said, He Man got a lot of the ideas from Black Star because Black Star and the Overlord sword connects. The He Man toys, uh, Skeletor and He Man sword connected. So these are all the little different characters. And like I said, if you haven't checked out Black Star the Cartoon, it's only 13 episodes. Check it out. You'll see. Uh, they could do a tie-in. I think they could because of the fact that Black Star was an astronaut. He-Man's mom was an astronaut. That would, that'd, been, that'd be dope. Uh, now right here what you see is the comic book. Like I said, it's in French. Right there. I wish one of the big companies or whoever would have picked this up and ran with it. Uh, and I would have, that'd have been awesome or whatever. Uh, this book right here though, I'm, I'm going to wait till I move and then I'm going to send it in to CGC um, to get graded. I don't care what grade comes back on it, I just want it graded. It's a magazine size so it should be good to go. And uh, that, that'll be it. So that is it. That's uh, I've, I got this like about a month ago and I hadn't got around to doing a video and then when I was doing a couple of videos I forgot to add it in there so now I'm adding it in there so that way I already have it out the way. Um, so tell me what you think. Um, I'm a big, like I said, I'm a big Filmation fan. I just watched uh, the other night uh, uh, Flash Gordon. I just watched that and I could see you know, the laughter of Ming the Merciless and Skeletor is the same. So, hey, they they stayed within their budget. They didn't go over. the, And uh, they kept it right in, in those cartoons. Uh, I wish my kids had the opportunity to, to be in the 80s to watch all these cartoons. Because when I tell them about it, they look at me crazy because, you know, it, it don't appeal to them like all this new cr craziness. Even um, Two Stupid Dogs. Even though that might have been annoying, I enjoyed watching that. Uh, well, I think that was like more of a little bit of 90s though, so, but it's not like uh, the cartoons now, so, but. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, below is my link uh, to my comic shop. Uh, check it out. Um, see if there's any books on there that you might need and uh, use my link below. So, hope everybody has a great and uh, wonderful. What day is this? Wednesday. Yeah, so. Fellas, you got a special lady in your life, uh, go ahead and recognize her for Woman Crush Wednesday. So until next time, I'm out.